Hey guys, it's Cassidy from Remodelaholic and I'm here to show you how we built this headboard. We designed it with cool diagonal lines and then we painted it with a pop of color using Annie Sloan chalk paint. We really like how it turned out. We have a written tutorial on our blog or you can just watch the video and let us know if you have any questions. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe. Hey, be sure to check out the bloopers at the end. It's worth waiting for, guys. First, start off by cutting the 2x4 frame pieces to length. Next, you want to cut the main plywood backing to size. Now, screw the backing to the 2x4s so that you have a good framework for your headboard. Just lay the 2x4s on a surface and screw the plywood into the 2x4s. With the frame all set up, you can now lay out the pattern on your plywood. We used yardsticks and pencils to draw the pattern directly onto the plywood backing. See the link below in the blog for a post with all the dimensions of the pattern we used. Cut out the two trim pieces for the sides and the one top piece. Miter along one of the sides of each piece on the table saw at a 45 degree angle. Then miter the top end corners as well with the miter saw. After selecting the boards for the pattern, cut them to width if needed. Use the carpenter square to find the angles of the pattern for the mitered end cuts you will make. Start with the longest boards in the pattern. Cut the mitered angles to match the trim on the top and sides. This is where the compound miter saw comes in really handy. Attach the top and side trim before continuing with the pattern boards. We found it easier to match up the cut wood pieces and the side mitered pieces by attaching the side pieces first. Cut off the ends all at once with a circular saw. Then work on the next section of the boards below that cut, filling in each section until done. As we moved along and the main section was done, we found it easier to cut one board at a time to the correct size. Now sand down all the slivers with an orbital sander and a 100 grit sandpaper. After they're all sanded and dusted, it's time to paint. This is the fun part, guys, so let's get started. When painting, I decided to give it an age look, so I did not paint perfectly. The chalk paint is perfect for this because it has really great texture and will look great with a little bit of character on the wood. We used a lot of different colors with this headboard. It was kind of a fun um, way to introduce some of Annie Sloan's new colors that they have. What colors would you want to use in your headboard? Let us know in the comments below. Once all the paint is on and dried, you can distress them a little bit with sandpaper to give them a little bit more character if needed. The next step in the painting process is brushing on a wax finish. This seals in all the paint and it will harden nicely to keep your paint perfectly intact and it gives it a little bit of sheen. Don't forget to buff the wax with a microfiber rag when you're done. That will really bring out the shine. It's time now to glue and nail down all the boards. We use glue and brad nails. There you have it, a nice headboard for a full-size bed. Please be sure to check out our blog and subscribe to our channel and like the video below. Thanks for watching. Oh jeez. That's the money shot. Hey, action. Is my tummy sucked in enough? Okay. You need to say the, who okay, you okay. are, okay. what channel, what we're doing. Alright. Hey guys, this is 